Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the value of the R such that the maximum power will get transferred from the circuit A to circuit B. And here we have been given that both voltage sources are in phase. So to find the value of R for the maximum power transfer, first of all, let us find the Thevenin's equivalent of the circuit B. That means let us find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage and the Thevenin's equivalent resistance which is seen from this side. Now the Thevenin's equivalent voltage is the voltage which is seen between these two terminals, right? And since these two terminals are open circuited, so no current is flowing through this resistor R. That means the voltage which is appearing between these two terminals is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. And hence we can say that this Thevenin's equivalent voltage VTH is equal to 3 volt. Similarly, to find the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, let us consider all the independent sources in the circuit as 0. That means this 3 volt voltage source will act as a short circuit. And therefore, this capacitor will also get short circuited. That means if we see the Thevenin's equivalent resistance, which is seen from this side, then this RTH is equal to R. That means for the circuit B, the Thevenin's equivalent resistance is equal to R and this Thevenin's equivalent voltage is equal to 3 volt. So now we can replace this circuit B by its equivalent circuit. And if we see the overall circuit, then it will look like this. So in this circuit, let's say the current which is flowing is equal to I. So we can say that this current I is equal to 10 volt minus 3 volt divided by 2 plus R. So now the power which is transferred from the circuit A to the circuit B is equal to this I square R that is the power dissipation across this resistor R plus 3 times I that is the power dissipation across this voltage. So if you put the value of R then we can say that this P is equal to 7 square divided by 2 plus R square times R plus 3 times 7 divided by 2 plus R. Or we can say that the power dissipated across this circuit B is equal to 49 times R divided by 2 plus R whole square plus 21 divided by 2 plus R. So here this power P is the power which is transferred from the circuit A to the circuit B. So here we have been asked to find the value of the R such that this power transfer is maximum. So to find that we can derivate this power with respect to R and we can equate it to the zero. So if you differentiate this equation with respect to R, then we can write it as this dp divided by dr that is equal to in the denominator this 2 plus r to the power 4 while in the numerator there is 49 times 2 plus r whole square minus 49 r times 2 times 2 plus r and for the second term we will have a minus 21 divided by 2 plus r whole square. So if we further simplify it, then we will get this 49 times 2 plus r whole square minus 21 times 2 plus r whole square minus 98 times r times 2 plus r. While in the denominator, we will have a 2 plus r to the power 4. And we should equate this expression to the zero. So if you further simplify it, then we will have 28 times 2 plus r minus 98 times r that is equal to zero. Or we can say that this 56 plus 28 times r minus 98 times r that is equal to zero. Or we can say that this 56 is equal to 70 times R. 
that means r is equal to 56 divided by 70 that is equal to 0.8 ohm so from this we can say that when the value of r is equal to 0.8 ohm at that time the power which is transferred from the circuit a to the circuit b is maximum and therefore for the given question this a is the correct answer